how to run EGS for the first time. After you have downloaded EGS, navigate to where you download EGS. For me, it was at EGS folder. Locate the folder. Expand it to its default location, which is uh, C Easy Java Simulation. Uh, click OK to expand it. I'm going to cancel because I already downloaded it and expanded it. Locate EGS 4.2. Click on the EGS console. And you will see that console first appears, of which you can leave all these settings as default. Now I'm going to show you how you can open up simulation in the EGS download. So all the source codes are found under source. You may explore these various folders at your own free time, but for me, I'm just going to show you how you can perhaps get one of the source codes over here at physics. Let's look at uh, mechanics. Let's say you're interested in Newton's cradle. Open it. And you can see that Apple has opened up, of which you can click the run button and EGS will compile it. And now you have a fully operational applet. There are many source files here that can be used. Another good source is you can read it from the EGS digital library. Can press the click catalog. You can choose all the other libraries. But I'm just going to show you how you can get it from perhaps the open source physics collection. Then you can see that once you have gotten the catalog, you can browse to many of the folders to get relevant simulation that you think you like to use it for your classroom. Let's say we look at electric magnetic induction and this one is the on Faraday's loop. Click on the download and it will ask you to choose a directory. For me, you click on user, create a folder. If it's not created, for me, it will be SG Education, followed by the username and you can save it over here and it's automatically downloaded to the location of your folder and again when you press run simulation you can see that the applet now works over at your end of which you can easily export it to make it into a, a learning object for your classroom